jour de différence Dans toute une existence Ça n'a pas d'importance Semble-t-il et pourtant La vie vous semble crise Vingt-quatre heures suffisent Pour qu'on la trouve exquise Que faut-il simplement Every week, oh, I don't know. Let's see how much. Who cares about you? <laughs> Assignments. <laughs> don't really matter. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, can't make it to the tutorial film. <laughs> but we thought, since it's Corona time and you all are stuck at home in your rooms with nothing to do, and I know you've been missing us, so by golly heck, we're back. <laughs> we feel your pain out there. That's why we brought you the Benet Show. The show that brings Benet into your home, not in the weird way. Just the normal way. Yeah, we're back with the show that brings to you the facts. Or if not the facts, at least a little bit of fun during the week. Fun me. We get to meet you, my dear, to know who they are, because we know you don't even know who they are, because we haven't even had the chance yet. I don't know who you are. So hopefully what we do is we fill your home with a bit of fun, a bit of joy, a bit of a laugh, you know. <laughs> To make sure Benet is back where it should be. Benet is back. In your heart. Yeah, so, um, looking at tonight's program, we've got a fantastic night in store for you tonight. It's full of gags, full of laughs, full of inspiration. Marcus? Yes? Yes, Simi? Should we check if all the muds are here? Well, they better be. It's a Benet show. Um, calling oh. all muds. Is, are you guys, are you, are you here, muds? Roll call. Yep. 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 Yes, sir. Present. Here. Here. Yo. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Present. Present. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Present. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Present. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Well, isn't that unbelievable? All 72 mites here with us tonight for the Banana Show, including our wonderful... Shlefim. They're pretty fantastic. Now, yeah, thanks, Simi. We should get straight into it. Oh, yeah. Did you know that our Marikeza is absolutely hysterical? I don't know. I don't know. But, well, watch this and it will confirm it for you. Well, here we have our first very segment of the Banana Show. It's... Tally's Toughless. She is now Tali Barwick.
shopping during a pandemic? Well, come with me. I'm going to show you. Oh, no touchy-touchy. Now, people often ask me, Tully, why do you do the Shabbos shopping, right? What is it about you that brings a flair to everyone's shove shopping of the week? And quite frankly, I think it was because no one else would do it. Oh my gosh, hit him, nine dollars. Don't forget chicken salt for seven bucks, what a bargain. Oh, sorry, I'm just in the line with my producer. Yeah, no, we'll get the couscous shot. We'll get it, we'll get it. A lot of vegans, please like keep the hate mail to a minimum. Um, but this is a great, great selection. No, 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 no. Um, even though they've got the big K, apparently there's a serious controversy with these Easter bunnies. Yeah, I don't really see the resemblance to a bunny, but hey, I'm not eating them. Unpopular opinion, this is the best bread. Special story coming straight to you from the Dim Yum section. You know Lisa Borowick actually named the product and as a result won a whole box of free Dim Yums. The only Australian milk. Oh, I'm just in the spirit of it. Oh, guys, thank goodness you're here. I was freezing in there. Here I'm with some of my former Hanukkah. Guys, what do you think about shopping? Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the bottom. Right. Alright, we're going to see That's it from me this week. See you next week. Oh, Tully, don't you just love a fun there, Kesha? Really? <laughs> Coles really seems to be the place to be these days. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, I feel like. I'm walking around all the time, well maybe not so much in this pandemic, and I don't see anyone, but then I rock up to Glen Huntley Coles, and I'm in the virtual aisle, and BOOM! Don't box it! I wouldn't know I haven't been out until today, but I think after watching that, the next place I'm going is Coles on a Friday afternoon to catch Tully in action. Yeah, for sure. Now, it's interesting you say that there, Simi, because mm -hmm. what would be the first thing you do when you leave the house? Um, well, I'll tell you, if I check the weather, and that is really perfect because I think we have right on the line our local weatherman ready to deliver the weather, Wilbur the weatherman. Wilbur, are you there, mate? Hello. Are you there, Wilbur? Are we are? Yeah. Hello. We're here. We've got you. Wilbur, we can hear you whenever you're ready, mate. Take it away. Um, hello. It's, uh, it's Wilbur the Weatherman here, G good to have you here um, on the weather show for the Benet Show. Um, so if we look over to the weather, it's, uh, it's pretty cold over um, today. Um, we're looking at easterly winds of, um, yeah, pretty strong ones uh, and the rain, the rain, rain the, there's going to be a lot of rain, which isn't good. So uh, if you're going to have a barbecue with your family this weekend, maybe, uh, maybe don't do that. Um, the weather's, yeah, the weather could be better, but, uh, but that's alright because we'll, just, we'll keep our smiles going. Um, I guess across, yeah, the southern hemisphere, it's going to be pretty cold this weekend, northern hemisphere a little bit warmer, and uh, hopefully it's just going to be a nice weekend. Snuggle up on the couch, get your hot chockies in, and uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. Back to you, Rufus and Simi. There, we'll look for the weather. I'm sure we are much more informed as to what the weather's going to be this week. Oh yeah, but you know where you don't need to know the weather? Where, Simi? In the car. Oh, that's right. And we thought, what better way to get to know your muds than to chuck them in a car with Ari Goldberg, <laughs> drive around Melbourne and just see what happens. We know you're going to be excited to see who we've got. Here is Mud Mudpool Karaoke. karaoke. Damn about a bad 
invitation. So. Big exciting news! Hamilton the musical is mm. coming to Disney Plus. I know. Big exciting news. Tag. Don't yeah. I didn't see that. You're one of those people. I like see all of your tags. It's That's weird. That's really ass. weird. Any songs that you've been listening to in quarantine? Anything um, in particular? Any go tos? I like all these mellow things, like right. like really mellow and boring. I like to say indie because it sounds exotic. Really ah, right. Random. I'm watching really like my spread of YouTube videos has expanded a lot. Like oh, I'm, okay, I'm yeah. Like really looking at some different things. And I saw how chocolate's made from the cocoa bean. And oh, that's cool. It's oh yeah, the so, cocoa bean. So the cocoa bean, and I had a piece of chocolate before I got in the car, and I just thought like, there's so much labor that goes into this piece of chocolate. Here, Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say. It's alright. Do you know, do you know, okay, I say pucker. Do you know pucker tea? P U K A. Oh, yeah, pucker. Okay, <laughs> That's so how I would say, but I don't drink it. Is that. Pucker, no? pucker? It is pucker now. I don't know. Okay, so. I can't, I can't the story. I go into um, the one and only pucker store in the world in right. London. Oh, wow, travel, okay. Little uh, travel flex over there. Yeah, love um, it. Walk in, and I'm like, to the guy working at the store, obviously he should have some knowledge in this area. Yes. Sir, please enlighten me. What is the truth? And he's like, oh yeah. I mean, he wasn't Bergen. He was like, oh yeah. It was like British. I don't oh, actually yes. know. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. And I'm that. like, how do you work here if you don't know how to pronounce the store name? I'm like, is it Puka Puka Puka? Like, we don't know. Puka. Puka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having some Puka tea. <laughs> Before I leave with the worst of me. Give them no reason to stare. Just enough if you slip away. So I got nothing to share. TikToks. So it's like got quite a large spread. Like you can, there's like all like the daggy like little like dances or whatever. N -n 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 -blah -blah. But there's also like really really funny stuff, like quality jokes, quality like singing stuff, like with the all like voices on top of each other. Like, oh yeah, very yeah. cool. Like find your niche. There's like sporty whatever stuff. There's like n -n -n -n. it's really good. I had to delete it because I spent. You, it's like also the average time you spend on it is 50 minutes. Like you can't spend less. 50. That's average. So then I'm like way over average. I'm like an hour and a half per se per like session. Per session. Per session. Not you per day. Only, no, I mean, wow. I'm sure there are people who have more self-control. Not me, but um, yeah, so it had to go. It did. So how it's long? It's more addictive than Facebook, more than Instagram. It's it's the future. Um, no, my I, it, my fen, fen shui, fen shui. Well, I say feng shui. Do you say so, feng shui? I don't even know what the word uh, is. I means just, fancy. I'm you. Okay, it cool. means oh, that's what my that's what the cool people say that it means fancy. I right. think. I'll go with it. Like um, it's really feng shui. Or oh, had a feng shui bottle of wine last night. Right now, oh, right now, you know that ad. Buy better. No, you got to watch a lot of. That's <laughs> 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 what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, something like, like Brand <laughs> Powell or something, or Home of. Maybe it is Chemist Warehouse. <laughs> yes! Yeah, so you're gonna now. have to think. We're one of a kind, no category. Too many years lost in history. We're from the outside, always looking in. Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass. That's something we need to talk about. <laughs> I nearly just said, I've had three showers today. Let me explain. Do we explain? You know, you know, I have to wake up really early for a class in the morning, so I need a shower to wake up, number one. Fair number enough. two, I was tired, so I wanted to go back to sleep after my early morning class. I took a hot shower to fall back asleep. Wow. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, hot shower. Like, Make relaxes you, you and your muscles. You're like, oh. wow. Yeah. So, also, sorry, that's been shaming. You don't know that like, hot showers make you tired? No, it does. Um, what? Wait, and so the third one? Or are you going to have oh. one later tonight? Oh, you've no, already no, had, I've three? had three? Yeah. It's five o'clock and you've and had two, three. That's two impressive. towels, yeah. Mm. Kapaldi, Kapaldo, Kapow Pow, Kapow Pow Man, Man. Yeah. We just call it Man now. Yeah. If we end up in Frankston, I'm sorry. It's alright. We might have to turn around because I've got to shoot in a sec. Oh, Not yes. a sec. It's like five minutes. It's fine. It's right, fine. we're going to pull over and find out where we are. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh yeah, and Amelia, she's really got a voice on her. She could have a future in the business. I think she really could have a future in the business, but you know, we're having a lot of fun here. I'm sure you are too. We'll see you.
for a little bit more bonacious after the ad break. See you there. What's one word two and a half million Australians think of for insurance? Because life's full of R moments. Aww. You'll be okay with Alliance. And welcome back to the Nation. Let's get straight back into it. Rufus, yeah. do you like books? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind books. Well, I know someone who likes books more than the both of us. Take it away, Kyle's Book Club. about everyone's favourite brunette with glasses, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I wonder what's in it. Shh, it's a secret. Let's jump straight in at page 45. Harry, what do you think you're doing down here? Harry's heart leapt. So did the witch. A load of fingernails cascaded down over her feet and she cursed as a massive form of Hagrid, the Hogwarts Game quarter and striding towards him, beetle black eyes flashing over his great bristling beard. Hagrid! croaked Harry in relief. I was lost! Blue powder. Hagrid seized Harry by the scruff of the neck and pulled him away from the witch, knocking the tray right out of her hands. Her shrieks followed them all the way along the twisting alleyway out into the bright sunlight. Harry saw a familiar snow-white marble building in the distance. Gringotts Bank. Hangrid had steered him right into Diagon Alley. Skulking around Nocturne Alley. I don't know. Down your place, Harry. Don't know what turns in. See you down there. I was looking for a flesh-eating slug repellent, growled Hagrid. They're ruining the school cabbages. You're not on your own. I'm staying with the Weasleys, but we got separated, Harry explained. Gotta go and find them. And that's all we have time for this week. I really wonder what the secret is. Hmm. And what's in the chamber? Join us next week for your favourite book club. Bye! Well, that was really... Something. Something? Well, I guess, you know, we better move on with the show. Coming up next. Yeah. Hang on a second. Looks like we're getting a call here from... Is it Jim Mustas from Mizrahi? Jim, mate. Jim, are you there? Is that Hi. you? Hello, everyone. What's going on? Jim, what have you been up to? I've been here for the last month and a half. My job hasn't changed because of the school but the premises has become pretty much a ghost town um things are slowly trying to get back together now jim mate where are you calling us from um i'm upstairs here in bonnet let's have a look around and guess what god has answered my prayers look at that um, nothing has changed still the place is a mess i'm gonna shut you down and we're going through here, the corridor. Now I'm entering the main shawl here from the female section. And look at the place. It is empty. It is a ghost town. Finally, I got rid of you. Jim, don't be like that. You know you love us. And look at this. This is our fire exit. Look at that. Still nothing has changed. Hopefully there's no fire and we can get through here to get down the stairs. Look, it's giving me a chance now to even sweep and clean the stairs. I hope you can have it clean. 
Kim, before you get off there, is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers here at the Benet Show? You know what? At the end of the day, I miss Benet. I miss screaming at you all. Hope to see you soon. Thanks. No, thank you, Jim. Thanks, Jim. How about that? Jim that was man. just giving us a call. Wow. I mean, what are the chances? Now, we'll be back for a little bit more Benet Show just after this ad break. See you then. Coronavirus rampant, there's never been a better time to come to Bunnings. Earthwell insulation handy roll, only $27. Bellini kitchen appliance pack, $498. Come in store to see our wide range of timber furnishings. Paint roller kit, just $371. Want a sausage sizzle? That's not even kosher, Sharon. If you happen to find a lower price on a stocked item, we'll beat it by 10%. Bunnings Warehouse, lowest prices are just the beginning. Bunnings Warehouse. Lowest prices are just the beginning. Welcome back to the Bonnet Show. It's good to still have you with us. Now, Simi, what do you think happens to muds once they finish in Bonnet? I didn't know they still existed. <laughs> yeah, what we've done is we've sent out a very wide call out to all our ex months to answer the question that we know you've been thinking. Where, Where are, are they, they now? now? Where are they now? They're having such a good time. Hang on, let's give them a call. I see that. Where are they now? Where are they now? I don't want to stop at all. Oh, take them off. We're going to answer a few questions. <laughs> I'm Danya Cohen. I'm Asher Parks. When were you in the movement? Oh, I don't know the years. When was it? Oh, well, you were uh, different to me. 2011, 12, 13, and a half of 14. As what were you doing in four? <laughs> it doesn't count, doesn't count. Okay, I was, 12, 13. I was I'm old. 2013, 2014. Yeah, that's it. And then, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I took... Year 11 with like Gilad Cohen, Ellie Lipschatz. Then I took year 10 with Yaniv Cohen and Yoni Lipschatz. And then we took year 12 together with. That was like Greek's easier. And Dodgy and Gabe and all, all the fun kids. Shout out to, to everyone, not just the people we mentioned. Yes, that's correct. Um, oh, and I also took the current second year muds. Yeah, you like did. Rufus and Noah and the boys and the girls. Um, Took them when they were in year nine. That was a while ago. <laughs> uh, what are you up to these days? Um, working. I'm living in Tel Aviv. What are you up to? So I also live in Tel Aviv. I'm working at a music tech company and I produce music for people as well. And I work at an ed tech startup, Education Technology. Nice. And Benji semi interned for us last year. I think he's also finished but they don't know him. I know, but he's my fanir, which uh, is why he came to be an intern. See? Okay, but it's not like, oh, you know this guy. Correct. Okay, don't know. Correct. Funniest memories from your time in Benet. Oh, on when I was a mud on my first year and I was taking year 12. So it was me, we Asha, Yaakov Wola, David West, Sarah Dessauer, Gilad. Gilad Cohen, not my brother. The Hezder. The Hezder boy. That's it, no? Yeah. And then, so it was Yaakov Wola was about to get married like a week after camp in his first year of being a mud, that's like a record. And um, there were like five of the year 12s on camp because everyone's really serious about VCE, they were coming up on Thursday, so we decided to do like a box party for him. So in the middle of the night, the boys like woke him up, tied him up and put him out on a boat into the lake, basically. I think it's a great idea. That was my favorite memory of <laughs> <laughs> Craziest thing that's happened to you since been there? I think the fact that we're still friends, we kind of hated each other when we were muds. <laughs> True story. Um, favorite part of Portsy Camp? The beach. Yep, beach, definitely the beach. What is your favorite thing about Benet? Camp. Camp. And the Hanifim. Winter camp or summer camp? Winter, sorry. We like fair, but we're not that much. Winter was better? Winter's Winter not was fun. vibier. No, it's but when. It's Melbourne, you... exclusive, True. you know. It's vibier, it's vibier. Tell us something about you that nobody else knows. We both live in Tel Aviv and we're still on the derrick. <laughs> Very impressive. 
but everyone knows that. So. Um, was there ever a time that something you learned from Benet was useful post Benet? Actually, surprisingly, a lot. I'm gonna say my best skill I learned from Benet is being able to read a crowd and talk off the cuff, spare of the moment, and everyone thinks you know what you're doing when you really you don't. Yeah, and I would say probably um, just learning how to work in a team, work with different personalities, different people, um, was one of the best skills. I mean, yeah, there's definitely a lot of skills, but that was definitely one of the best skills that I got from Benet. Okay, I hope that was fun and not boring. <laughs> uh, we're gonna show you what empty Disney Ghost Street looks like no, no, during I Corona. I think Bye. See ya. Well, how about that? Thank you, Ashley Parks. Thank you, Danny Collins. Great to hear from you. Great to know you still exist. Hey, isn't that the guy that's speaking on, what is it? Wednesday night at 8 p.m. as part of our Tikkun Lau leading up to Shivala. Check it out, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Asher Park Shield for Tikkun Lau. And don't forget to check out his music on Spotify. Now, Simi, I feel like, as Banana Kiva Melbourne, as a movement, we always try and answer these big existential questions, yeah. but I just feel like we never get the answers, you know? Well, how are we going to get them? Well, as the very famous Jose Ortega de Gomez says, the real magic wand is in the child's own mind. So what we've done is we've gone out to the children of Banana Kiva Melbourne to answer some of the toughest questions we have. This week we asked them, what is modern orthodoxy? Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything? What's modern orthodoxy? What is modern orthodoxy? A very good life. What's modern orthodoxy? What is modern orthodoxy? Lula? <laughs> what is modern orthodoxy? Have you ever heard of that? You know what that is? Any idea? Alright, fair enough, me neither. Ilana, what's modern orthodoxy? Ayana. What is modern orthodoxy? I don't, I don't know. know. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> what is modern orthodoxy? Um, I think it's fixing the tire. Wow, this could really do have a wild imagination. Now, look, they might have some answers, but if you're really looking for the real answers on Judaism, look to the Torah. Now, before we get into our last segment, we're going to have a quick check in here with, with Noga Davini to fill us up about sport. Noga! Hey guys, there's no <laughs> footy or sport on our end. Back to you, Rufus. Thanks, Noga. Well, there might not be any sport at the moment, but I know you're all pretty excited to know that footy is coming back. Who's the level? Sydney, what are you most excited about when the footy returns? I'm just interested to see how the ball skill is going to be when the boys return to training. But I reckon, I reckon the Bont's going to tear up a 17-game season. Well, you heard it here first. Now, to end the show, we thought we'd leave you on a high with our very own funny man, Shimmy Klufkant, to deliver a little bit of laughs just to end the show. Here is Shimmy's Gaffor. I'm always in traffic with the lame expert. You know this type of person? Constantly. But always a little bit ahead of you. Now, we're zooming over here. <laughs> Always comes on with his own little announcement. I'm going over this. I'm going over that. I'm making a lift. I'm bringing her up. I'm bringing her down. I'm making a what? I'm going this way. That way. And we're in the back there. Yeah, that's all fine. Do whatever you gotta do. I got no idea what's going on. You see me knocking on the cockpit door? I'm having the peanuts now. Just thought you might like to know what's going on over here. Yes.
see me. He just cracks me all the way up. <laughs> well, I think, unfortunately, it's time for us to end the Bonet Show this week. It's been unbelievable fun. Would you so say? fun. I mean, I've had Thank you for coming. But you remember, this isn't where Bonet Show ends. Bonet is carrying on throughout the whole week. Simi, tell us what's going on this week. Right after this, well, actually, in half an hour, we have on Zoom... Ellie Weber giving a cheer that is going to be live streamed on Facebook. And for the rest of the week, we've got cheering every night, particularly now, leading up to Shavuot. And we'll see you next time. It's going to be pretty exciting. You better catch those cheer in if you want to get really smart with your Torah. Now, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. It's been fantastic to be in the Benet Show. Oh, yeah. And I guess what is left to say is we'll catch you next time on uh, the Benet, Benet Show. Show. See you guys. Not you do the existence Sing up a lot of dust Sans que pourtant La vie vous semble grise Vingt-quatre heures suffisent Pour qu'on la trouve exquise Que faut-il simplement 